Welcome back again to a little Austin Sports Weekend. With, from home. From our remote area. <laughs> deep in the deep midst in of the, the mountains. midst of the mountains with Austin himself here. Uh, it's time for a little sports this weekend. We got a little NBA going on, a little NBA, a little uh, Major League Baseball going on, and a lot of tennis. There's always Tennessee stuff going on that we can talk about. Uh, but first of all, we do want to thank Severe T uh, TV for setting us up and uh, getting us going here and thanks again for autographs plus for sponsoring us check them out they've got a good website too but let's start out with the nba this week let's do some uh, well i'll tell you what let's start out you got the break i got the news you got bulletin. the news right. Look, we're gonna we're gonna go a little backwards this week we're gonna start out with the news bulletin give me give us a give us a little news bulletin there the suns booted their head coach frank vogel despite a 49 and 33 record and they aim to hire Mike Budenholzer to replace him. Well, I guess as the wheel goes around, the wheel goes around, the wheel goes around. Uh, who did uh, uh, Budenholzer coach for? The Bucks with Giannis, and they won a championship with him. Oh, yeah, that's him. right. They won a championship with him. Uh, and then it got split up, and... Uh, Doc Rivers happened. So Doc Rivers happened there, yeah. Uh... And uh, speaking of more coaching news, we got Charles Lee agreeing to a four-year contract with the Charlotte Hornets to be their new head coach. Now, Charles Lee also coached with Budenholzer, Budenholzer for the Bucks whenever and they Budenholzer, won a championship. And Budenholzer, who coached before with Greg Popovich. So, yeah, so this is off of the Popovich tree. So uh, Eventually, there would be a tree for, for Greg anyway. So. You, yeah, you knew there would eventually be one. So uh, now, Lee Charles Lee goes down to Charlotte, and he rejoins the uh, his assistant. It, that's currently the president of basketball operations over there. Yep, yeah, and he also used to work at the Milwaukee Bucks. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. The Milwaukee Bucks championship team has eventually uh, found their way back around. The two out of the three are going to be at Charlotte now. And the head coach himself is, is going to try to go over to the uh, Suns. Uh, a, a little more NBA flavor. Who won the MVP just now? Nikola Jokic coming off a NBA championship last year with the Nuggets. That this is, is his third award. That's his third. And he he sort of won it, uh, sort of running uh, running running away here. Here He got 79 of the first place votes and a total of 926 points which is uh, almost 300 points better than second place. The second place this year was a newbie also. Shai Gilgis Alexander. Who was a, one of the new upcomers for? The Thunder. The Thunder. The Thunder, who are first place. In the Western Conference. In the Western Conference. Third place was my man. I, I love a little Luca. I love he's he's got some of the best shot. He sort of he seems to sort of be wearing down a little bit here. He's in the, dealing with a knee in the injury through the whole playoffs. He's had a little bit of knee injury, and he seems like he's wearing down a little bit because he doesn't have the explosive. They get, but he finished third in the uh, MVP. Giannis finished fourth. Jalen Brunson fifth. Jason Tatum sixth. Anthony Edwards. Michael Jordan. No, sorry, My, Anthony. <laughs> sorry, Anthony Edwards. Uh, Domitas Sabonis finished ninth and then Demonis Sabonis. Demonis? Oh, Demonis Sabonis. And then last but not least out of those top ten was good old Kevin Durant. <laughs> Kevin Durant still jumping up into that uh, top ten. But, uh... uh no, no, who's missing? LeBron. <laughs> he didn't even make the top ten ballot. Yikes. For... Yikes. First round exit. First, a little first round exit. A little not even making the top ten, but somehow he's uh, some people's best player ever. I still don't. I still don't get that too good. Let's talk about some of the some of the games going on. We've got the Knicks and the Pacers are playing in the East semifinals. The Knicks are up 2-0. 2-0 on that one. We got the Cavs and the Celtics. Uh, the Celtics are up 1-0 whenever we film here. The, they're actually playing, so they're probably going to end up being 2-0. The Celtics seems to be 
uh, a very hard matchup for the Cavaliers. This thing may only go five at, to six games at the uh, most. We got the Mavs Thunder. Uh, the Thunder's up 1-0 on them. And if I'm not mistaken, we got game two of that one tonight as uh, well. So, uh, uh, you know, I got a little soft spot for the Thunder because I really like Luka. Uh, but the, uh, but, the Thunder, well, the Mavericks, actually. Yeah. Mavericks, uh, Luka, yeah, Thunder Luka. Shy. Yeah, thund yeah, You're thund getting thund that little mixed up. I'm getting but I, I, do, I am a Luka fan, so I do like a little Dallas Mavericks there. Uh, the other games we've got going on are the Nuggets Timberwolves. The Nuggets are struggling to fight off the Wolves. The Wolves won game one and game two. Decisively. In Denver. Decisively game two. So, uh... Going gonna, to Minnesota, Denver's going to have to face a bit of a wall. Yeah, Friday, they've got game two up there. So, it's going to be it's going to be interesting. Uh, it's sort of looking like we're going we're gonna to come down to, uh, with the Knicks being up 2-0, the Celtics looks like playing right now. They're going to be up 2-0. So, we might have the Celtics and the Knicks... <laughs> and the Eastern Conference Finals. That sounds old school to me. I saw something like I might want to see. And then uh, it looks like we'll probably have <coughs> the Thunder and the Timberwolves probably. Out probably. In the, out in the West. Two uh, of the younger no, teams. Younger powerhouses. Are we going to have two of the old franchises and uh, two of the young franchises yep. playing each other? And when it comes to the to the national title, it looks like it's going to be a, a old versus young situation there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that's about the NBA news right now. What else you What else you got going on there? Uh, Rasheed Rice for the Chiefs keeps getting into a bunch of trouble. What happened to him this time? He was arrested. Oh, he was accused of a battery charge in a bar in Dallas. No, he just he's got like four or five indictments on him or something for the reckless driving and the speeding and everything. Somebody, uh, somebody's letting fame get to the noggin a little bit. This this, this will get him fired. This could get him cut. He's going to get cut from this. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. How many millions do you have to make before you get a brain? <laughs> I mean, well, he's, what? you're playing a sport for a living. You're catching a football for millions of dollars and you can't keep your mind straight enough to keep doing that. That just baffles me how this keeps happening. It baffles me too. I have no clue what's what's going on. Now up there. the rest of the video is this guy right here showing off some of the bulk of his Tennessee knowledge. No, let's let's before we do, let's jump into a, just a little bit of just a little bit of MLB. Uh, the MLB is uh, going on right now, and the umpires are still bad at it. Uh, the umpires are still bad. I'm still I still want a robot strike zone. I'm going to say I want a robot strike zone until they give me a robot strike zone. <laughs> I, I want it up behind the plate doing everything else, but I want a robot strike zone. I want a pure yes it is or no it ain't strike zone, and the refs have no way of getting involved. No Angel Hernandez's? I don't want any Angel Hernandez's in that at all, no. Uh, just getting into the sports, though. Uh, let's see here. Major League Baseball. Right now we have the Baltimore is up uh, one game over the Yankees. And the uh, NL East, we got Cleveland uh, two games up over Minnesota. Cleveland, the Cleveland Guardians. I'm, it's the Cleveland Indians to me. <laughs> uh, we got the Texas Rangers have uh, sort of shot ahead a little bit. They're a couple games up on Seattle. We got Philly over Atlanta. Philly is impressive. So yeah, far. they're actually doing really. They're twenty six and twelve. They've got a really good record. Milwaukee's only up. Well, actually, Milwaukee and the Cubs are tied in the in the in the Central. And the Cubs have played two more games, though. Yeah, and the Dodgers are up. Uh, they're running away. The looks like the uh, uh, NL West is going to be the weakest division. The Dodgers are twenty six and thirteen and up six and a half. And the Padres are stuck middling again. What the heck 2020, happened there? Twenty twenty. I don't know. They're stuck twenty twenty. And the Angels, 14. And 23. But somehow they're better I, than the I, Astros. I still don't understand how you could be that. Somehow they're better than the Houston Astros. Yeah. Somehow. The Astros have had a really bad start this year. They No not, Dusty Baker? No Friday. Dusty Baker being the head coach of that team, I think, was what was holding it together there. So 
uh, we'll just sort of see what what uh, what happens there. Now, let's jump into, we always have to kind of throw some Tennessee Vol love in there because we are some Tennessee Vol loving people. Uh, just talking a little bit about our new head coach, Kim Caldwell. I think she's doing, she ain't even coached a game yet. I haven't even seen a play yet, but she seems to be starting out really good. She's putting some good players in there. Uh, again, the three people she's put in uh, from the portal, she got senior guard Samara Spencer from Arkansas, which is a, which was a really good score. She had 13.9 points, 4.6 rebounds, and 3.5 assists for Arkansas last year. Uh, she picked up sophomore forward Alyssa Latham from Syracuse. She had 8.6 points and 7 rebounds uh, last year. And junior forward Lazaria Spearman from Miami, who had 6.3 points and 6 rebounds. And they're not done yet. So the, she's still got a couple people in mind for uh, her team. So congrats to her and everything that she's doing. Talking about the Vol baseball and the Vol softball, the Vol baseball is number one in the one country. in the country right now. So numero uno, Tennessee Vol baseball. They've got a series with Vandy this weekend, and then they got, a, I think, Belmont, and then the, the finishing series will be South Carolina that they will be playing, and then they'll be on uh, and the Lady Vols are number three in the country. They finished up the season with a W in the SEC. They are the SEC champs for the second year in a row. So congrats to the Lady Vols. Talking a little more Tennessee sports here, we've got, uh, I thought something that was really cool. Uh, everybody knows the uh, U.S. men's national uh, team uh in uh, soccer, the legend Tim Howard that played for them, played in the Olympics for us. His daughter, Allie Howard, has committed to Tennessee. I thought that, I thought that, that was I thought that, that was pretty cool. So we got Manny Ramirez's son coming in baseball, and we got Tim Howard's daughter coming. That's really cool, actually. Cool. That's cool that you brought that up. Yeah. Did you know also, I, 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 do you know that Mookie Betts signed with Tennessee? And uh, in 30 minutes, right before midnight, before he was coming to Tennessee, uh, Boston offered him an extra $300,000 to come and <laughs> play. So uh, he decided to go to Boston in 30, in, in, within 30 minutes. Hey, when the pros come calling, you can't the, really reject it. Yeah, I've only, I've only really got one more, one more thing talking in Tennessee here. Some of the early lines have come out for the betting in football. It's, Already, it's May. The way, I know way too early, but it's fun to talk about. It's May. It's the Tennessee against NC State. Tennessee, they're at they're at a neutral site. They're going to play at Charlotte, uh, play NC State, and they are favored by five and a half points over NC State. So uh, we've got a little bit of a favor there. Uh, over, uh, we're saying we're favored by five and a half. When we go at Oklahoma, we uh, Oklahoma is favored by four. Which sort of makes that uh, like a one-point game if it was on a neutral site. So Oklahoma's favored by four. This was the one that's shocking to me. Florida at Tennessee. Tennessee's favored by 11. 11. Early numbers, Tennessee is favored by 11 over Florida. Is that not nuts? How many times have we been favored by 11 over Florida? That's not very common, no. Uh -huh. And this was, this was also fun, too. The very next week, Alabama comes to town. And Alabama is favored by two with a brand new coach coming to Tennessee. Oh boy! I mean, I, I guess you could sort of say that's fair because just history-wise. And then this is the one that's a little bit of, sh of a shocker too. When we're at Georgia, Georgia's favored by seventeen and a half. Well, they're a pretty good force right now, so I'm not gonna. I'm not. I, I'm gonna say that's a little too high, though. I'm down around the ten point range rather than the seventeen, so I think that's a little bit high. But uh, that's all I got to see this week. So it's been so. Oh, that's a, a very brief week, huh? It's it's a very brief week, very brief video this week. There's not a whole lot of huge news going on right now. Uh, not a whole lot of who lot to talk about, but uh, but it's always fun talking sports, though. And I'm sure that we'll have some more stuff next week. So be sure to check us out next week. We're going to sh keep on shooting, keep on rolling, keep on doing your videos. Leave a comment below. Tell us what you think. Tell us if there's something that you want us to talk about. Share us with your friends. And we'll see you next week.